Hi, Simon Nixon here with another tutorial. This time we're going to be cleaning a soft top or convertible hood. There are actually two basic processes that we're going to be going through today. The first is the actual cleaning of the hood and the second part is reproofing the hood uh, to make sure it's waterproof and to protect it against the elements. The product we're going to be using today is another one from the Auto Glim range. It's an absolutely superb product and it's one that I always use and comes as a kit. First of all you get the fabric hood cleaner and a fabric hood protector. They come in two spray bottles which are pretty easy to use. They're 500ml bottles, um, usually enough to clean an average of two, two soft top hoods. You also get um, quite a firm open weave sponge. Right, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is remove any loose dirt that's on the hood. To do this, I, I just use a, a small stiff brush or a vacuum cleaner with a crevice tool on it. A quick word of caution, if you use a crevice tool on your vacuum cleaner, don't press too hard because you can mark the fabric. Right, the next stage is to actually wet the fabric of the hood ready for the cleaning process. I tend to use a pressure washer. I have a small domestic one for doing hoods because it's not too powerful. If you do have a pressure washer that's quite powerful, just stand back a bit so it's just a fine spray that wets the uh, fabric of the hood. As you can see from the video, I'm stood back a few feet just to get some, some, a good amount of moisture on the hood. Although I use a pressure washer for cleaning hoods, you don't necessarily have to use one. If you haven't got one, then the, a normal garden hose is absolutely fine with a fine rose on the end of it or a fine spray. Again, don't get too close to it and don't put too much water pressure on the hood. Once your hood's evenly coated with the cleaner, the next task is to take the sponge that came in the kit and start to agitate the hood to form a light foam. When you've got an even covering of foam on your hood, go around to the other side of the car and spray the product onto the other half of the hood. Once it's evenly covered, do the same as before and get the sponge and agitate into a light foam. There are a few places where you may need to use extra pressure, for instance, um, any creases where there are joins in the fabric hood um, or round windows, etc. These are places where you can get buildup of dirt and algae will grow, as you can see from the video. Once you've thoroughly cleaned your whole hood, you can take your hose or pressure washer and gently rinse the cleaner off until the water is running off the hood nice and clear. Now for the final stage, you need to reproof the hood. Take the reproofer and spray it evenly onto the hood. Again, you don't have to saturate it, and it is best to do it whilst the hood is still damp so the product is absorbed right into the fabric. And that's it really, you now have a nice clean and refreshed hood that's once again protected against dirt, traffic film and water absorption. Um, there are a couple of points I'd just like to mention here. Um, I do get asked quite regularly, how often should I clean the hood um, on my car? Um, it really depends on how much you use the car and how the car is stored. If it's stored under cover and it doesn't get used that frequently, probably uh, once a year really, um, either before or after the winter, depending on the look of the hood. Um, generally speaking though, I, I, I tell people that twice a year is good. You can find all the information from my tutorials and much more in my book, Caring for Your Car's Bodywork and Interior. My book is part of the RAC Handbook series. If you click on the link below, you can find some information on the rest of the series and my book. It's very reasonably priced. Go take a look.